हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई एम मिस्टर सोएन चुटके हेल्पिंग यू टुडे विद डैनियल सेल now daniel cell is a type of galvanic cells so friends we have earlier seen in the earlier parts of electrochemistry we have seen that there are two kinds of cells one are those cells which produce electricity and the other kind of cells are those which consume electricity so aapka jo remote ka cell hai that remote ka cell is producing electricity what does it do it produces electricity but how is this that's called as a dry cell how has this dry cell originated it does not uh, come directly right so before the dry cell we had the galvanic cell which is Uh, which was probably the first cell which produces electricity and like your electrolytic cell is known to consume electricity usme electricity consume hota hai isme electricity produce hota hai so let's see how uh, this daniel cell exactly works so we are going to have a zinc electrode let me draw the diagram for you so that you understand it properly so we are going to have a, a zinc electrode okay placed in a solution of a zinc ions that means we are going to have a zinc electrode placed in a solution of zinc ions and copper electrode placed in a solution of copper ions cupric ions okay so here we are going to connect the daniel cell i mean the two electrodes of the daniel cell you can see that how it works have a look at this so this is the construction what are we doing we are doing the construction and working of the daniel cell so first we are constructing it and then we will see the working of the daniel cell so we have two separate cylinders as you can see okay and in these two separate cylinders we are placing what zinc rod dipped in a solution of zinc ions copper rod dipped in a solution of copper ions then i am placing a bulb over here okay uh, between the two electrodes this is our salt bridge this salt bridge is having something called as kcl electrolyte KCL, it's having KCL. सी एल तो आप सोच रहे होंगे कि ये उल्टा यूट्यूब है इसमें से के सी एल गिरेगा कैसे नहीं वो नहीं गिरेगा क्योंकि इट इज इन अ जेल विथ जेल एगारोज जेल एगारोज जेल में के सी एल को डिजोल्व करके रखा है तो इट कैन आयन कैन डिफ्यूज बट के सी एल इज नॉट गोइंग टू फॉल ओके सो वेरी सिंपल जिंक रॉड डिप्ड इन सोल्यूशन ऑफ जिंक आयस टू बी स्पेसिफिक इट इज जिंक सल्फेट ओवर एंड copper rod dipped in a solution of copper sulfate with cupric ions in over here so what is going to happen in this daniel cell let's see this is at anode who's at the anode zinc is at the anode uh, aap to jante ho ki anode pe hamesha kya hota hai oxidation hota hai and oxidation is loss of electrons that's how we remember that's a mnemonic oil rig oxidation is loss of electrons reduction is gain of electrons so at anode zinc is going to jump into the solution forming zinc ions dhyan dena yahan par kya ho raha hai now We have constructed the Daniel cell. Now we are seeing the working. Zinc is jumping into the solution to give in more zinc ions. Already zinc ions are there. It is giving you more zinc ions by losing two electrons. You can see loss of electron is happening because that anode always what happens is oxidation is loss of electrons. You have to understand one thing that electricity current will flow when one of the electrodes is at a higher potential and the other electrode is at a lower potential. So zinc is at a higher potential. You can see the uh, standard reducing potentials in series electrochemical series. In that you will see that zinc is Uh, uh, at a higher potential in terms of giving electrons as compared to a uh, copper okay so now what is going to happen is as i told you zinc is jumping into the solution to give away zinc ions and two electrons these two electrons will be left at the anode where are they left at they are left at the anode so they are accumulating at the anode okay and when they accumulate at the an anode obviously this gen this comes at a higher potential and then electrons start flowing okay from anode to the cathode this start flowing from the anode to the cathode here the anode is having a negative sign yeah in uh, electrolytic cells the anode is having a positive sign but in electrochemical cells or galvanic cells you can say the uh, anode is having a negative sign because it is having electrons being accumulated on the anode so therefore it is having a negative sign and cathode is having a positive sign in electrolytic cells again it's vice versa cathode is having a negative sign in electrolytic cells but here in galvanic cells it is having a positive Negative sign and anode is negative. So these two electrons now, because they are at a higher potential, they start migrating to the uh, cathode. And let's see what happens at the cathode. So at the cathode, we will have reduction. Reduction is gain of electrons. So these Cu two plus ions which are present in the solution, these Cu two plus ions which are present in the solution, they will accept these two electrons, forming copper solid. so what you can say that these cupric ions will accept the two electrons coming in from the anode and after accepting they will form copper solid and they will get deposited on this cathode so at the end of the reaction you can see that the cathode is growing thicker 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 and thicker and the anode is diminishing in size or depleting in size because zinc ions are jumping out 
now uh, now when electrons are flowing over here we know that when electrons flow in this direction the current will flow in the opposite direction and this bulb will glow now there is one more thing for the bulb to glow that is the circuit should be complete okay now say for example uh, we are having this uh, extra in this extension you can see that this is a wire this is say for example the live wire and this is the neutral wire so you have to insert your device into both the live as well as neutral wire and this is the earthing uh, socket okay so the live wire socket neutral wire socket and the earthing socket so your uh, you can you can you just insert your pin into uh, the live wire and uh, make the device work no that is not possible you require the neutral wire to in order to complete the circuit so only when you complete the circuit then only the thing or that device can work uh, the electricity electrical circuit can complete and the device can work okay similarly for this bulb to glow the circuit has to be completed this is one part of the circuit you can say this is the live wire part of the circuit but what about we need to complete the circuit so for completing the circuit we are having the salt bridge the salt bridge not only just completes the circuit it's like this now okay it not only just completes the circuit but at the same time it also functions as uh maintaining the it's functioning for maintaining the electrical neutrality okay it functions to maintain the electrical neutrality now what is maintaining electrical neutrality like when zinc ions more zinc num more number of zinc ions are here earlier you know how it is the situation in this solution is that the zinc ions and the sulfate ions are equal but now the number of zinc ions are increasing and the sulfate ions are not enough okay the sulfate ions are not enough to combat or to maintain the electrical neutrality zinc ions are increasing so when zinc ions increase the moment one zinc ion increases over here two cl minus ions diffuse from the salt bridge and two cl minus ions will maintain the electrical neutrality by uh, cancelling the positive and negative charges the number of positive charges here are equal to the number of negative charges how does that happen the moment one zinc ions enters into the solution two cl minus ions come out of the salt bridge okay similarly here where you are having the cathode what is happening is earlier the co2 plus ions were equal to the so4 to minus ions the positive and negative charges were equal but now co2 plus ions are depleting because they are converting into copper solid and there is a decrease in the copper sulfate copper cupric ions due to which the sulfate ions of the negative charge increases so what happens the k plus ions two k plus ions come in place of one co2 plus ion so therefore this maintains the electrical neutrality this is how the salt bridge is maintaining the electrical neutrality so there are three functions of the salt bridge one is it is maintaining the electrical neutrality second is it's completing the circuit and third thing is allowing us to keep the two uh, solutions separately otherwise we would have to mix the solutions and they would uh, it would be chaotic so therefore salt bridge is a uh, very important if you want this daniel cell to work okay and it is generating a potential of 1.23 volt this entire cell is generating a potential of 1.23 volt this is the construction and working of daniel 